My name is Martin Laird and I'm the director and animator of A Good Cause Makes a Strong Arm, which is the story of the Arcadian Women's Suffrage Society. And I'm going to answer a few short questions for the Women Over 50 Film Festival about working on this project with the writer Fiona Graham. The first question is why did we want to make this film? Um, it's a continuation of work we were already doing really. Fiona writes articles about various aspects of Arcadian history and culture which are online on the Orkney News and in print in iScot magazine and I provide illustrations and photographs to accompany her articles. Uh, we met originally through political activism and when we found out that the Scottish Government had a grant available through the Centenary Fund we put in a proposal for this animation which they accepted. How was the film influenced by the artist Stanley Cursiter? One of the things I didn't know going into this was that there were men involved with the suffragist movement as well and uh, one of them was Stanley Cursiter, who's a famous Arcadian artist, painter. Um, he had designed the banner for the Arcadian Women's Suffrage Society, with which only a written description remains, but I did refer to that. His work was also sometimes very colourful and abstract, and I definitely borrowed elements of composition from some of his paintings, such as the scene where he's with Phyllis Hurston, who was a member of the society and also later became his wife. There are also other influences from the art world and from music as well, um, particularly the music which was written for this by James Watson. I think he did an ex excellent job and it was exactly what we were looking for. The film has a striking use of colour. Why did you take that approach? I wanted the overall effect to be like a moving painting um, and I chose a simple, bold 2D cutout style because I was the only animator working on it and I wanted to be realistic about what was achievable. The colour palette originated with the red, white and green colours of the National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies and adding in purple for the suffragettes in some scenes. There's a lot of symbolism and also some random chance which resulted from painting everything by hand in gouache and then digitally reassembling it later. Uh, although it was quite carefully storyboarded, it was still quite an improvisational and very fun process to work on recombining paintings in different ways. What did I learn from working with a woman over the age of 50? Well, Fiona obviously has a wealth of life experience, um, but the animation was new to both of us, so I think we've both learned new skills. Um, she is a very driven person and I appreciate some artistic direction from time to time. I've also learned a lot about Orkney, which I didn't know through her research, even though I was born here. I would say, in general, age and sex and race and things like that shouldn't be a barrier to creativity. It's hard enough to find people that are good to work with, so I don't know why you would limit yourself in that way. How is the current global pandemic affecting your work just now? Well, we had a documentary project in planning stages, um, and that is probably on hold because I don't see how it can be done under lockdown conditions. I can continue to do art and animation from home and we also have a three month old baby in the house so that's keeping me very busy. Um, I'd like to thank Nula and the Women Over 50 Film Festival for taking an interest in our work and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.